everyone. Welcome back to Starfield. Sam and I have pushed through into the inner sanctum of the Victor compound building uh, and entered into, uh, yeah, this little sort of semi-underground area, I think it is. Trying to find Lillian Hart, Sam's ex and uh, Cora's mother. And uh, yeah, bust her out of um, ooh, wine. Then what do I do? Bust her out of her uh, little predicament that she's got with the syndicate, where she's been undercover, trying to uh, trying to grab information from them for some time. I uh, I understand. Right, let's see. What have we got here? You with you should do the trick, and then is it gonna be you? I rather think it is. And you. Now, please. Thousand credits. I wonder, what are you hiding? Um, yeah, funnily enough, so do I. That's why I usually pop them open, Sam. You could learn a thing or two. Stick with me, kid. And, uh, yeah, so uh, I've gone through and looted several... Oh. Oh, that doesn't look pleasant. I've looted several bits and, indeed, bobs from uh, the main hall back out there. Pants log. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go and pick through some of the side rooms now. Right, this should do it. Uh, you, you, and you, and you. Lovely stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to pick up the uh, the last of the spoils from around these parts. But, um, yeah, the game is uh, is fully updated. Bethesda released a brand new version. I was actually two versions behind until very recently. Uh, brand new version of the game. Um, just a few days ago as I'm recording this. Ooh, hello new little area and uh, yeah all the mods are fully updated uh everything's up to date now on the mod list which uh, as you know is uh, available via a link in the description if you're uh, on pc and you're interested in, in sort of taking a look at what's running under the hood here um i'm gonna crack crack a couple more of these and see what else i can find so for somebody that was really concerned um over their carry weight before um yeah, and uh, realising that they had far too many aid items in their inventory. Uh, I've spent the last couple of minutes just um, picking up odd little bits of food and drink in this room. And then I opened this uh, set of doors and, <laughs> and found all of this. And then I walked behind the counter and I, I found all of this. <laughs> I've made a little bit of a tweak to the mod that uh, Are you improves training for the... some sort of weightlifting competition? Yeah, I knew you were going to say something, Sam. Um, the, the mod that basically uh, amplifies how much health this restores, and water now restores 9 health. These things, which are many and plentiful, restore 30 health a pop. Bloody hell, nice. Uh, coffee bags as well, which are completely useless to us. Um, yeah, I'm uh, I'm going to have to... Uh, I'm going to have to get you to be a bit of a pack mule in a minute, Sam, because um, look at all the lovely food. Oh, my God. Oh, imagine if I... Oh, imagine if all of those were actual bowls of food. Right, no, no more, no more. Move along. Ooh, hello. Right, I've just found a big particle beam shotgun called Big Bang in the, in uh, in this case. So I might have to give that a try at some point, especially if I need to take someone down non-lethally. Uh, but I found Parker's Slate. This gig is amazing. I've never had it so easy. I get to pretty much sit on my ass all day and push a couple of buttons. Oh, and Rhodes has been giving me an extra ration every couple of days just to mess with Gonzi every now and then, which, let's face it, it's kind of fun anyway. It's a win-win. Right, so, uh, Parker was enjoying his, uh, his little foray with the, uh, <laughs> what are these guys called again? These, uh, these, these syndicate, there we go, syndicate gangers. Um, perhaps getting a little bit too comfortable. Right, uh, I'm gonna continue round and, uh, pick up the rest of the bits and indeed pop. Oh, we got a bloody hell, this place goes on, doesn't it? It's sprawling. Oh, hold on. Closed door over there. Holy crap, did I lay down a lot of this destruction. <laughs> I didn't realise I'd been quite that lethal last time round. Um, it's been a few days since I actually uh, played Starfield and, um, yeah, looks like uh, I'd definitely been busy. <laughs> Bloody hell. Right, anyway, time to head through to the next area. So, ooh, hello. Who's that? Is that Lillian? can't see exactly who that is. I don't know whether that's Syndicate or if it's lit. Well, hello. Gunfire either way. 
Ooh. Now, this is looking a little bit more like that syndicate base that we found on Neon. God. Whoa. Finish you off there. Bit ah. late for that, my friend. Oh, hello. Syndicate assassin? You must be quite the worthy adversary then. I better be careful around you. Otherwise, I could be a, uh, a particularly sticky. Fa oh, never mind. Yeah, she's dead. All right. Um, go and assassinate someone else. Right, I'm going to assume then that. Yeah, look. I mean, hold on. What 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 uniform have you actually got on, Lillian? <laughs> I'm assuming that is Lillian. Yeah. Okay. Pretty much stood out. That doesn't look like what I would imagine Syndicate's uh, attire looks like. So she probably stood out like a bit of a sort of thumb. What do we got here? Fruit salad, Moby Dick. No, no problem. Oh, what was that? Oh, <laughs> I can take a seat if I like. If I just want to take a load off. Bloody marvelous. I don't think we'll be needing this anytime soon. Let's take a look. Uh, assassin. The dead ain't glamorous, but it sure is profitable. Has a kind of okay-ish. Oh, hello. She's got a nice mag share here. Seventeen k. I'm horrendously overloaded as it is anyway, because um, I've looted so much crap on the way round. Oh, hello. Expert level save. Don't mind if I do. You'll do quite nicely. Uh, a furious. Wakizashi, whatever that might be. Uh, yeah, <laughs> like I was saying, I'm horrendously overloaded with stuff at the moment anyway, so uh, in for a penny, in for a pen, and I might, might as well grab everything I can find. Uh, ooh, hello. A con Wait, Pacifier. Legendary shotgun. Was Pacifier the one that I picked up two versions of so far that can fire explosive rounds and I really haven't actually uh, utilised at all whatsoever? Um, what's the... It's not telling me what it... Oh, it is. No, 15 by 25 CLL shell. Whatever the hell that is. Well, it's worth a lot anyway, so I'll take that. Uh, shotgun shells. Yeah, skip that, skip that. Cool. Um, it feels like there should have been a uh, a data slate there, but no matter. Ooh, more books. Comet, Carry the Cosmos, Comet, Nicholas Nickleby. Yeah, we've got all of those. That's fine. Uh, can you have some original literature, please? Was well, a little bit late to make uh, such a request now. Oh, hello. I see you hiding in the corner. So, this is <laughs> what? Top secret reception? Oh, hello. You're a unique mug. Uh, never apologize for being a powerful fucking woman. Okay. <laughs> I'll take that from you. Um, interesting ship model. Trilobite display. Someone did cause a terrible mess here. And then what's that? A mech leg? Right, all of this completely inconsequential, of course. Hi. Um, hello, please don't shoot. Uh, I'm with your ex. Uh, oh god, was that, was that a good thing to tell her? Should I, should I have opened my mouth? Have I put myself in even hotter water? Hi, hello, please just, wh whatever the case, don't kill me. This is quite the little operations complex, isn't it? Bloody hell. Uh, right, hi, hey, uh, here for a rescue. Oh, okay, well in a few words. You're the new ranger, right? I see the stories about you weren't exaggerated. Thanks. You're Looks welcome. Like I get to play hero for once. I gotta say, your time is spot on. My cover was hours from being blown to hell. We have a lot to talk about, but let's get to your ship first. Uh, oh, yes. We mean to uh, bring that up. Um, good luck getting anywhere in my ship. It's kind of a bit of a, bit of a mess at the moment. So, yeah, how did you find out about me? You must clearly have had communications from the outside whilst you were undercover. Let's just say you made quite the impression on my daughter. I kind of wish I didn't know so much about you, honestly. Hmm, okay. Are we actually safe now? Is everyone, like, like, dead? Except for any stragglers, yes. By the time they send some reinforcements, we'll be long gone. I did say thanks, right? Yeah, I, even if you didn't, I got the implication. Cool. Uh, right, let's get out of here. I'll see you soon. Oh, you're making your way back? Okay, fine. Lone wolf type, I see. Oh, hello. Oh, did you off this one? Oh did get a chance to take care of that one myself. I think uh, that's, sadly, pretty much everything of interest. Actually, I suppose it would make sense that there are no data slates around here. Even though this is an operations room, it would make sense that um, Lillian would have scooped them all up before uh, before leaving. Okay. All right, let's get the hell 
out of here. So, yeah, the ship is still in um, horrendous disarray at the moment. Um, I need to be careful, don't I, because I'm completely over encumbered. In fact, what is my carry weight at the moment? 249 of 170. Perfect. Um, yes, I... God. Slowly, slowly. Uh, yeah, I, I worked out... Hold on. Why am I being pointed this way? What am I being pointed towards? Hmm, I've been pointed that way for some reason. Oh, I think it's because the game's... <laughs> the game thinks my ship's there. The game's slightly confused because I sent my ship back off into orbit, didn't I? So, everything's fine with the ship. I mean, it's not. It, you can't actually walk around it because everything's sealed off. <laughs> yeah, every time you turn, there's another bulkhead. Uh, but I know what's going on with the ship. I simply need to... Um... Hello? Can I help you? Oh, God. Oh, wonderful. Why now? Where are they actually touching it? Looks like they're touching down a good distance away. I'm not going to go chasing after them. That, that would be somewhat silly in my current um, rather heavy state. But uh, I, I really do want to catch up with, um, with those... Oh, hold on. Hello. Did I come through here? Yeah, something tells me that I did. Uh, with my, uh, my... Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, I do want to catch up with those, um, starborn types sooner or later. Uh, where's Cora, by the way? Is she still providing lookout at the top of a hill? Okay, let's head on over here. Call the ship down. And, uh... Yes, I'll, I'll, I'll actually get to the bottom of what I was blabbering on about in just a moment. So, all I need to do is... Um, in fact, I think I already rearranged the landing bay. So the landing bay part is fine. I read, it, I, I read a little bit more into the issue that we had where I couldn't get out of the landing bay when we first landed on the other planet. And it was because any ship that you take over or that you're given as part of uh, a quest needs to have the landing bay ripped off and put back before the actual button that lowers the ramp will be generated. So that was the problem there. And I need to visit a ship, uh, a ship technician to replace all of the doors and the ladders and things because, yeah, I kind of cut that up by removing the landing bay. But hey-ho, we're here. Come on, Sam. Let's hop aboard. Yeah, there's the button. There's the missing bugger. Come on, in you get. Slap that. Doors close. Wonderful stuff. Okay. So, I'm going to head back to the cockpit. In fact, did you have any any input after just seeing Lillian in the middle of a battle zone? I think Cora's taking a shine to you. Kids got good taste. Okay. Next time. Clearly not. So, this is going to be interesting. I'm assuming... I better leave the ramp up open, actually, because she's not on board yet, I don't think. <laughs> uh, but Lillian's going to be on board the ship somewhere... And I'm not going to be able to get to her to speak to her. Because all of the bulkheads are seen. Oh, thankfully, most of the crew's uh, here. My friend. Dish. Uh. Ah, oh, hey, Captain. Hi, Rosie. <laughs> I need to visit a ship technician pronto. Okay, I will shortcut my way into the cockpit. Why have you got your suit on now? And get off of this rock and um where do we actually need to head tell you what i'm gonna do i'm gonna head to the den because i know that i've also got some uh, naughty contraband on board and a hell of a lot of junk that i want to sell off so um keep on doing that i'll head to the den and get rid of all of this junk I'll replace all of the doors as best I can, at least, and uh, so I can actually get around my damn ship. And then, uh, oh, I need to actually target the den itself, don't I? So I don't go uh, floating off to a different planet. And then I should hopefully be able to wander around my ship and see if I can catch up with Lillian. I'm hoping she actually boarded before we left the planet. Well, hopefully, my modifications should get my ship ship shape i've uh, gone and sold off all of my uh, additional crap which um you'd be forgiven for thinking that i hadn't 
meetings. I'm still getting warnings about being over encumbered, but I, I've got a lot of crap on me, okay? Uh, right, so that's this has brought us back into the very top hab. This is the captain's quarters. Sam's apparently made himself at home. Very good. The door sounds somewhat muted. It's, it sounds almost as though we're in uh, we're in no atmosphere. Right, brilliant. I can actually move around my ship again. Fantastic. This door is facing the correct way. Wonderful. Uh, back through the brakes. Control area. This is pointing the right way, I think. That heads... What's going on? Hello, Rosie. Uh, this goes back through to the cockpit. Aha! There's Lillian. I was wondering where she got to. Barrett, you ah, might... Oh, there we go. Weird. I was just thinking. Well, never mind. Don't worry. Hey. Thinking is perfectly hey. normal. How's your Nothing day, to be uh, freaked out about. Hello, Amari. Wait. Very good to see you. You've gotten shorter again. <laughs> Why did you do that? Don't do that. That's kind of worrying. I was so worried about Mom. Of course, yeah, you've got her back on board now, haven't you? Mom's safe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're so, so welcome. Right, that's through to engineering. That gets nice back day, through to boarding. Huh? Bloody brilliant. <laughs> I've got my ship back. Amazing. Okay. Uh, I do need to dump a lot of my um, <laughs> my health gear back off at uh, into the uh, the cargo hold. Why is Barrett still mega tall, but Amari is average height? That's kind of weird. I might have to tweak that. I kind of miss him being huge. How are you? Um... I feel somewhat taller. I can't tell why. Right, Lillian. Hi. Hello. Welcome aboard. This is your ship, right? I hate to ask, but I'm going to need some more assistance with my mission. Mm -hmm. Are you for real? Weren't you just chewing me out about putting Cora at risk? Huh. Thanks, Sam. What if you were spotted? Either here or I assume Neon. It means the Syndicate may come after all of you. The only way to get us to be really safe is to see this through. Okay, um, yeah, why don't you call in the rest of the rangers? I think the Sioka have found a way to intercept some of our secure transmissions. We can't trust traditional communication. I have a limited window where the intel I gathered is actionable, so I'm afraid it's just us. Oh, so this is kind of a we need to get there pronto and not bother diverting to Neon sort of thing. Okay, um, you're such a hypocrite. Um, right, I'm not about to accuse her. She's obviously got good reason. I know Sam's a little bit peeved with her, but she's obviously got good reason to go chasing after the Syndicate right off the bat. Uh, but I'm gonna need a few more details. That's fair. Just like Lillian. Straight from one fire to the next. That's the job, Sam. You know that. Is he blasting that over the PA? There's a shipment of armaments <laughs> coming in on a heavy freighter. The Duma. I know it's itinerary, but I don't know where the arms are being stored. If we find the cash, we can lure out a Sayoka underboss. Valerie Mascara. Hmm. Okay, and who is this Valerie exactly? The worst kind of criminal. She's smart. Too smart. She's convinced a number of the Sayoka to think outside the box. She has plans larger than Neon, and that makes her very dangerous. Right, gotcha. Um, so, Sam? <laughs> Your thoughts? I'd imagine probably not positive. So, sorry, Lillian, are we keeping you up? Yes. What do you think? Well, taking out one ship isn't that bad. And the goal is good. Always is with you, Lillian. <laughs> I think he's coming round to the idea. Um, I can get behind taking out a syndicate ship. Do you, do you know what? I haven't yet really uncovered what's so bad about the syndicate. I don't think. I, I, but, okay, yeah, you obviously have good reason, like I say. Gladly. So we get the location of the cash from the Duma. Then we make our move. Thank you. No problem. Okay, so we have to get this uh, this cash from the Duma. So I take it we don't want to blast it into a million billion teeny tiny little pieces. Because um, we're generally fairly good at that. So where Releasing is? Releasing ship from dock. Done. We are now free to move among the stars. Very poetically put, Baron. Let's see where in the settled systems. This thing actually is. Uh, let's see where are we. Uh, hmm. Where are we looking for this thing? Is it like way up in no, the unsettled end. 
I am aware I need to visit one of these systems. I can't remember which one it is, but I need to visit one of those to go to uh, Vladimir's little uh, holiday home at some point. Hmm, wait, have I not got a quest selected? No, of course it's it's deselected itself. Wonderful. Uh, okay, so we'll reselect Matters of the Heart. So Lillian's been working a case against a very dangerous syndicate operative named Valeria Muscara. She needs to find the location of Valeria's cache. It should be on a smuggling ship in the Dumas. Okay. Rus what was that? Russell Hard 2? Try this navigation again. Here we go. Right. Okay. It's outside of jump range. Uh, good God. We need to bounce through several different systems here. Okay. I'm going to stop short of um, going into the Crick system. Something tells me I probably won't be very welcome, especially flying the, uh, the Star Eagle. So let's go to the uh, Sagan system. See if we can't lay over there for a moment. Wait, why is... Why am I in shield only at 71? Oh, I haven't got him on full power, that's why. Oh, I love the feeling after a perfect jump. Bless you, Barrett. You're easily pleased. Let's sort out the shield uh, situation before I do anything else. Let's grab a couple more points. In fact, let's grab an engine point. There we go. Boost those shields up to 100%. Don't feel particularly happy leaving them any lower. Can we now? Oh, we still can't make it to Russell Haig. But we can fly past Cricks, so that's something. Jaffa. Oh, I see. Okay, we haven't been through the Jaffa system yet, by the looks of it. But I guess that's why it's, uh, it's stowing our flow on the way through. Now, this being right next to the creek system, I wonder if there's going to be any uh, fleeters present. Grab jump spinning down. Just look at those stars. Doesn't seem to be a lot going on. Okay. What's the Jaffa system like? Anything of interest around here? Doesn't seem to be a lot. I still don't quite know what the dot 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 is. Okay, it just means that there's something available on that planet. Some sort of point of interest. Okay, I'll pass through the system for now. Let's, uh... Are you for real? We still need to bounce through two more systems. Okay, Tidacha. Wait, this is... A oh my god. I just realised we're... <laughs> we're in dangerous territory here. Tidacha apparently is a level 45 system. Could be a fun old time. Our daring voyage in the oceans of space brings us here. It does indeed, Barrett. Thankfully, there's bugger all going on. <laughs> right. Single planet, single star, okay, three moons, with nothing going on. Just the way I like it. So can we now... Oh, we still can't. Okay. We need to bounce through... Where, sorry? Alpha Marae. The Alpha Marae and Beta Marae. I didn't notice the, uh, the level of this system, actually. Have a look. Alpha Murray is again a level 45. Am I really going to make it all the way to the destination without uh, bumping into anybody that Our wants to play me to pieces? Fragile humans have survived being hurtled through space once more. It, it looks like I've lucked out somehow. This is a much more busy uh, system. There's no indication that there's anything going on anywhere, though. Fine by me. Here we go. We can finally make it to the Russell Haig system, which thankfully is only level 40. But I get a funny feeling we might meet some resistance as soon as we drop it into, uh, into this system. Seeing as we're hot on the tail of the Syndicate. So I'm going to have to be uh, 
We're gonna have to be on the spot with the power allocation, I think. This is Free Star Ranger Lillian Whoa. R. Transmit authentication ID. You were ordered to cut your engines and prepare for boarding. This is not a request. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, well, that didn't go quite to plan there, uh, Lillian. <laughs> Okay, let's pull a couple of pips out of there, throw it back into engines. We've actually got some speed behind us. Right, we're behind it now. It's a big old beast. Okay, can I knock out those engines? I can. If I can't pull out the weapons. How are we doing? We're okay. We're, we're actually doing surprisingly all right by the looks of it. Nice. Oh, they're getting their engines back online. Relock. No, you do not. Yes, I did. Okay. Get on board. Get what we're after. Oh, we've got a hazard on board. Their structural integrity the seemed okay. The for the most part. So hopefully we haven't uh, we haven't ruptured anything. Oh god. They're armed. I'm really heavy to see. Excuse me, Barrett. Excuse me. We've got anybody coming through, haven't we? Doesn't look like it. Can't see anything on the chrono mark either. I really should have got rid of those uh, extra bits and pieces before I <laughs> decided to take this mission on. They better not be in my quarters. Get out. Scurvy dogs. Right. Get aboard and take these buggers out. Uh, I'm thinking maybe the Kadama for this one. We got extreme heat, gas vent. Whoa, the gravity's out as well. Okay, got entry that way. That must be their landing bay, I guess. Wait, is this thing only? Oh no, we came in from the bottom, didn't we? Right, let's try this way first. Right, we got a uh, we got a ladder way up. Let's just explore over here first. Nothing in that. Right, come on then, Sam. Follow me. Oh, no, this is going to be interesting. This is the first time I'm going to be using a ballistic weapon in Zero G, I think. Holes bright. What was that noise? Oh, that'd be me. <laughs> oh my god, that really is pushing me back. A little bit of a health boost. Where you at? Now you're here. Whoa! <laughs> I think I might have to switch to a laser uh, weapon in a moment. Great, I've just released gas into the ship. <laughs> We're no way of avoiding it either. Rubbish. That wasn't my wisest move. Nice. Sweet. Right, we've got two more targets by the looks of it. Hold on, one of them is showing back here. Uh, hi. Sorry, is this door in your way? <laughs> oh, this thing's throwing me all over the place. I love it. I think this just adds to the, uh, adds to the excitement and the tension, to be quite honest. Right. One more through here somewhere, by the looks of things. Another couple of... Oh, there you are. 
Zero gravity grenade! Sweet. Okay. I think that might be everybody, you know? Yeah, I think that's it. They've got a little brig here, a little armory. Okay. Very nice. Will definitely be worth exploring before too long, but I want to make absolutely certain I've secured everything first. Through a one by one. Ah, here's the bridge. That's the security captain. Whoa! I think I need to call on. A little bit more of a heavy weapon. Yes, you'll do. Are you downed? Oh, you are. Oh, bless. Terrible shame. Right. I think... That's the ship clean. Bloody brilliant. Where the hell's Sam? <laughs> he let me to it. Okay, right, I'm gonna go through and uh, clear what needs to be cleared and uh, see if I can't find our data that we're after. Oh, interesting. Message to the Dumas. Have a quick look at that. Oh, hello, talk with Lillian Hart. That was our cash. Bloody hell, that was, uh, that was surprisingly easy. <laughs> Message to the du- oh my- Look at all the crap that I picked up for the last location. Message to the Dumas. After you pick up the goods, proceed to Andromas 3, coordinates enclosed. Drop off the goods outside the target location. Separate personnel will handle the rest. Avoid detection at all costs. Possibly slightly late for that? Oh, well, that's handy. <laughs> Just trying to activate the, uh, the the pilot seat turned all the gravity back on. So, um, yay. It's going to make it easier to get around. Ship cleared. Let's head back to... Who's in here? How do you always manage to get through ahead of me, Sam? <laughs> Superhuman. Let's head back to uh, Lillian wherever she might be hiding out. Let's check this hab just in case she's crept through. Nope, we're good. I'm aware that there's still plenty of uh, containers around this ship that I haven't yet. Um, what? <laughs> Why are you training the weapon on him? <laughs> He's one I of us. Ah, here we go. No, she's hanging out here. Oh. If it weren't for you, I don't know what would have happened to Mom. Oh, bless. She's properly devoted to her mum, isn't she? I was so worried about Mom. Oh, yeah, so I see. Lillian, look what I got. Excellent. We know where the cache is now. I know the type Valerie uses. It'll be very secure, and if you trip the alarm, it'll send a distress call out. Oh, okay. So, being careful and discreet is key. So, why is this cache so important exactly? Valerie wants to arm the syndicate and start preying on all the little outposts and space stations that are far away from Ranger's protection. She's not a pirate. She's an extortionist. And if we let her get her hooks into these people, it could take generations before it's clean. Right now, we have a chance to stop a problem before it starts. Okay, I know she, you said she's not a pirate, but this definitely sounds like Crimson Fleet 2.0. So, how many reinforcements can we expect if, you know, just in case my, uh, my superior stealth skills don't hold up on this occasion? We can count on at least one ship being within range. Maybe two. Valerie has more robots than men. So expect hard targets. That's not a problem. Uh, yeah, nothing we can't handle. <laughs> it's time we deal with Valerie once and for all. Sounds like it's going to be fun. Right, so we need to make our way to Andromus 3. Let's get off of this bucket of bolts and head on over. Ah, what a ride. Switching grab drive to normal propulsion. Here we are around Andromus. Got here. Hello. Who might you be? You see little Muv too. 
Hmm, what's a UC vessel doing out here? Howdy. Hmm, uh, heard anything interesting out here? Did you know the whole Crimson Fleet started out as some convicts who overthrew United Colonies prison outpost? Hmm. Guess the guards forgot to lock the doors. <laughs> Yeah, kind of well versed in that. Um, let's just say I've got insider knowledge. All right, on your way. Kind of bizarre that a UC ship's all the way out here, but uh, right. So I'm pretty certain it was Andromus three. Yeah, here we go. Make our way over to Valerie's cache. All right, can it really be that close? Oh, hello. Got a red light down there. Is that some sort of cave entrance? I suppose if you're hiding a cache somewhere, it makes sense to uh, to stick it underground potentially. But will us oh, landing good. story time? Love it. Maybe another time. It is a beautiful day, huh? Well, that looks majorly suspect. Okay, yeah, that's gotta be it. <laughs> that's gotta be the place, right, uh, Lillian? Sam has had a lot to say about you. Oh. I can't believe you're fine with bringing my daughter along on all your adventures. It's a good job we've been blown up. With all this constellation is great for core nonsense. It's dangerous. I can see you're not uh, aligned with our views. Uh, nice to meet you. I don't know if we could st could have stopped Cora if we tried. That's probably right. She's pretty headstrong. Uh, it's great for her. Cora's a pretty remarkable girl. You'd still be at Victor Compound if it weren't for Cora. Yes. Do you know what? Yeah, don't treat her like a little baby. She's uh, She's got a lot more going on than you understand. Uh, well, I didn't know that. I'll have to talk with her. And maybe Sam too. So I'm sure Sam's told you all about me. Go on. Ask whatever you want. Yeah, I've heard this and that. So, first of all, how did you get wound up on Victor Compound with, uh, with the Syndicate? A confidential informant was supposed to arrange transport off that rock. But I lost contact with him. Ah. The syndicate mm. got to him. And it was only a matter of time before they found me out. I owe you for the assist. Yeah, no problem. Um, I think I owe you a little bit of information about your CI as well. <laughs> uh, they kind of painted the wall with him. So, why didn't Sam know about you and, you and Cora being in touch? It's complicated. Oh, so complicated. Cora's the one who reached out to me a couple years ago. We exchanged messages. Then the little scam convinced me to join a book club with her. I mean, looks are fine. But the looks I got from my fellow rangers reading Alexander Dumas? <laughs> we do strange things for kids. Hmm. We really should get back to business. Ironic, given the name of the uh, ship that we just uh, boarded. Oh, I blew that ship up, by the way, the Dumas. <laughs> as soon as I detached from it, blew it to space dust. Um, okay, so, yeah, of course it makes perfect sense. She was in touch with Cora about the... Uh, um, the books, wasn't she? So, yeah, it makes sense that she kept up to speed with who we were, climbing up the ranks of the Rangers while she was undercover. So Sam told me how he joined the Rangers. Why did you help him out? He did? That's some serious ancient history. Mm. Well, we came across what remained of the pirates that attacked him, and the way he flew, fearless, brave, unpredictable. If there were any contraband on his ship, that would be such a waste of talent. Fortunately, any cargo he had was jettisoned in the fight. Understood? Yeah, I got the gist of it. Okay, let's get out and see if we can dig this cash up. Talk later, then. Uh, ooh, yes, the whole over-encumbered thing. I probably should sort that before we step out. My god. <laughs> the amount of space I've saved. I've, I think I've saved literally about 50 kilos just by going past every single food stuff and reducing it down to one that I've got on my person. I mean, that's that in itself is overkill, but it putting you, two or three of each type of food item into the hold saved such a lot of space. Okay, anyway, enough babbling. Let's get out there. The location's even so marked as Valerie's cash. Fiddle with the cash door, the alarm will go off. So if you want to set up any traps or surprises for the syndicate, do that first. Oh. Uh, interesting. Right, wish I brought more mines with me now, but, uh, okay. Let's take a look outside. Looks like the atmosphere is good here. Uh, oh, 02, 15 degrees. That's not too bad. Wait, it's 15 degrees outside and everything's covered in snow. Confusion. 
Okay, so sounds like... Oh, there we go. Sounds like the door is alarmed. And no matter what we do, we're going to trigger that alarm. Um, a long time, too. What were you saying, Sam? Completely missed that. Come along, Lillian. Might be worth, actually... I might hike up the, to the top... Whoa, hello. That old-fashioned secret door. Kind of cool. Yeah, but it looks kind of screwed, to be quite honest with you. Um, I have a funny feeling this probably isn't the main way in. Wait. Defeat Valerie and the Syndicate forces. Where are you? There you are. Is it just the one? No, it is two ships. But Lillian was right. Right, that's kind of confusing because I didn't actually touch the door. <laughs> and yet they arrived, nevertheless. This should be absolutely fine. Let's take up a uh, defensive position. And I've got a little surprise at the ready for them. Ha ha! <laughs> oh. <laughs> they had a bigger surprise ready for me. I guess that was kind of inevitable, seeing as it was an absolute hail of bullets coming my way. <laughs> oh, God. You again! <laughs> Why? Right, let's, let's see if we can't get a good look. Does anybody actually come out of that thing? Oh, they were visiting that facility. Interesting. I'm kind of tempted to go and take a look, but it, it doesn't look as though... I mean, I don't know if I'd be able to actually see anybody from this distance anyway, but it doesn't look like um, there's anybody over there. Oh, I'm too intrigued. I'm going to have to go and take a look. I want to figure out what the hell these Starborn folks are all about. No signs of humans about. Whoa! Wait, did they just teleport down from the ship? <gasps> That's Starborn, all right. Dirty dogs, level 30. I'm going to assume that they're all the same level. Let's see if I can't... Uh... Oh, how many is there? There's five of them. Well, this will be good practice for when we actually take on Valerie's lot. Grenade out. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. They're hitting hard. <laughs> They are hitting hard. Oh, one down. Wait, was he actually down though? Again, it looks like they actually, they, they don't die. They just sort of, well, Jesus. They don't seem to die. They just, they're just removed. They just teleport out. Whoa. Don't want to be out in the open here. Oh, also don't want to be without ammo. They seem to have reasonably conventional weapons, I think. Wait, have they got mag shears? Is that a mag shear he's got? Whoa, what the hell was that? Whoa, where is it? I know what I need to do. I need to take on, uh, where are you? Sent star stuff, that's all I need. Because I've got the ability to actually sense these uh, dirty dogs. Might as well use it. What, what, are you, what are you launching at me? What was that energy ball?
Is it just this one left? <gasps> no way. Oh, hold on. We still got one? Nope, they're done. Oh, superb. But yeah, they, they, they bleed red. I think we uh, we established that before. <laughs> they bleed red, but um, yeah, they don't seem to leave much behind in the way of uh, in the way of goodies. But I did get one more of that quantum essence, which I, I still don't have a bloody clue what that is. But I got one. Right, I've <laughs> good God, <laughs> I pumped no. myself. Anyone? Yeah, nobody. Are you talking about down in the, the cash or are you talking about me? <laughs> because, uh, yeah, I've just pumped myself full of food for uh, health recovery, but also uh, Bodica and Infantry Alpha to try and boost my stats a little bit. Uh, so that has um, got me fit and ready for a big old fight and uh, has also got me high as a kite at the same time. Okay, right. Let's... old-fashioned secret door. Kind of cool. Let's get myself in position. Let's see, was it here and here? I think they land. Oh, here we go. What the hell's that? Uh, okay, that was kind of weird. I think that was possibly people spawning in slightly before they should, but okay. Gonna drop a quick save there. Get another high explosive uh, or two in whilst we can. Except nothing's being thrown. That was weird. Right, I got hit with something. Looks like. Hold on, I need to. Uh, I need to see this. Why, why have I got no throwables equipped? What the hell? Rather random. Right, a shrapnel grenade will do, I think. Oh, nice. That was all of them. Amazing. Whoa! <laughs> Your ship's left you behind. How the hell can I fly that high? Now, I've got a funny feeling that Valerie was actually on that first ship first time round when I got my, uh, my backside handed to me. So, I've got a horrible feeling. Oh, wait, is there another one coming in? Oh, balls, there is. I've got a funny feeling that that first ship was just flown up from Valerie's corpse, but, um... Okay, no matter. Sure, I'll live. Oh, I see. Landing over there. Oh, God, got two of them. All right. This is fine. I'm going to switch my explosives out for an impact grenade, because that has, uh... Oh, I've only got two of them. Hmm, nuts. Let's tell you what, actually, let's let's lay down a couple of cryo mines so we can get the uh, get the drop on these guys. Another quick save. Come on out! Oh, hello, a robots there. Lydian did say they could be sending. Uh, Mechanized foes. Haha, <laughs> sucks to be you. Wait, is there another one? Oh no, it's that one taking off. Nice. Oh, not too shabby at all. Bloody brilliant. Right. A little bit of a health boost. Grab what we can here. Whoa. That's it. Right, somebody sounds too close for my liking. Sounds like there's somebody on top of this rise. Oh, here you are. Wait, no, there's definitely somebody up here, I think. Is there? No, apparently not. Okay. He sounded alarmingly close. This is my favorite part. Murdering people? 
Me too, Sam. Me too. Right, you've got that one pinned down. I think there's someone... Yeah, here we go. Are you trying to get to my ship? You better bloody not. I mean, Sam, feel free to carry on firing. As I'm coming down. Oh, God, there's two of them again. Right, that one's coming right on top of us by the looks of it. Lillian, get your gun in hand. Don't think this is over. Right, where are you landing? There. Oh, there's another... There's a bloody level 32 enforcer still over there. Wait, I think they're inside the base. How the hell did they manage that? <laughs> Just realised I could probably stand on top of their ship and... Uh, wait from there. Whoa! No, didn't like that. No, thank you. Whoa, that's Valerie. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's her. Right. Whoa, Jesus, where did you come from? You filthy animal, no, no. Oh my God, oh my God, that was too close. They've got Valerie still. Balls, they've taken off the Valerie's body. Rubbish. I don't know if that matters. I feel like it does. You, shut up. <laughs> Let's get this, another throwable in. Uh, right, shrapnel grenades at the ready. Right, there's somebody up there as well. No! Stop it! Silly! Right, you're getting... Whoa, you really are getting annoying. <laughs> Come on. Oh, crap. <laughs> Throw a grenade behind me. Not good. Whoa! Oh no! I knew I was making myself too open on a target. Ah, oh, I've been brought back to the second wave here. Rubbish! Right, do you want to draw them out? Because I, I put a tasty little cryo grenade there. There we go. Lovely. Take that ice pop. Nice. That'll do. That's that one down. It's not me. Whoa. That set me on fire with your ship. That's dirty tactics. Okay. We go dirty tactics. They're bloody miles away again. Tell us, Sam sent you. Let's get the Hunter Wolf out. I feel like this isn't the, the most effective uh, long-range weapon in the world, but... God. Time to check. It's times like this where I really wish I had a, a proper dedicated sniper rifle. Like a, a one-shot that's absolutely, uh, absolutely devastating. Well, this is when this is doing too bad, I've got to be honest. on this is horrible though oh crap here we go again right let's make sure that i am properly equipped uh i could do with mm, impact grenade i'd rather have the shrapnel grenade at least i know i've got more of those to hand right you there we go you're down is there still somebody camped out over here yeah we've still got that high level syndicate soldier over there somewhere i think they must be hiding behind the uh behind the tree Okay, this is the one with Valerie on board again, I believe. There you are, you swine. You're under arrest. I would like to make sure she's off of the ship, if it's all possible. Ah, oh, man. That might have been her at the back there. I don't know. Oh, no, that's Valerie. Amazing. Message to Valerie. Did you pick? Wonderful. Okay. Let's... Whoa, they're up there. 
drop a quick save. No wonder! There were so many bloody Syndicate soldiers with a decent vantage point on me. Take your polonaise, thank you very much. Ooh, that's Sam. Wait, is that it? Oh. Did we did we get them? That was surprisingly easy. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be uh, over quite so quickly. Especially given the first attempt. Oh. Oh, I had to go and say it, didn't I? <laughs> They're all gunning a Lillian. Whoa! Somebody's got a mighty beefy weapon here. Well, let's see if I can take this one out. You. Stop it. Oh. Nice. Wait, is there another one? Oh, God, there is. With another equally crazy Nova Blast Disruptor. Is that what they've got? They've got Nova Blasts. Oh, well, not all of them. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Nice! Good shot, Lillian! Bloody beautiful. Who are you? Syndicate Enforcer. Amazing! Okay, quick save. Before anything goes belly up. <laughs> and I want to take a look at that message to Lillian. What do we got? Uh, Lillian? Valerie. From... Ooh, redacted. Intriguing. I'm sick and tired of Lillian heart breathing down our neck, so it's time to end her once and for all. Use the abandoned supply depot on Andromus 3 and wipe, uh, drop some breadcrumbs to lead her there. Call it a weapons cache or whatever you want. I knew this looked fishy. She won't be able to resist. Once she trips the alarms, you uh, have your crew jump her and kill her. That'll give us one less ranger to worry about. And Valerie, don't screw this up or you're going to find yourself floating on the run side of an airlock. Well, uh, no need to worry about that anymore, I don't think. Was this her? Yeah. She's, uh, she's not going to be floating anywhere, I'm afraid. Except up to space heaven. Um, Lillian, I've got a funny feeling you might have been duped. Oh. Oh, now I see why they came in in force so early. Bloody camera. Crap. Uh, yeah, Sam, I think we've been led on a wild goose chase, my old friend. You know, normally I don't like working with just anyone. You, you're an exception. Oh, thanks. Uh, can we ask any questions related to this? Certainly. Doesn't look like it. Catch you later. Okay, did you have anything juicy on you? I think you had a couple of things. Looks like Lydian's kind of um, <laughs> wandering around in contemplation uh, over there at the moment. I think Take she knows. Syndicate pinstripes? Yes. I think she knows she's been had. I'm not so worried about collecting all of the uh, the available loot here. I'll pick up uh, the odd syndicate capo suit. Yes! I'll pick up the odd bits and bob. Um, Lillian. Hi. Yeah. We have to deal with the syndicate before things get out of control. What have you got all over you? Wait, was that... Was that from the Starborn? And it's over. I could see why they were eager to recruit you for the Rangers. As you're working with you, glad everyone's safe. Sam says you're incredible. I can see why. <laughs> can I, um, I potentially sow the seeds of a bit of a, a reunion? Incredible? I'll have to remember that. We need to talk. I mean, really talk, Lillian. Maybe somewhere private? No, I might need a little... Damn it. Emotional support, all right? Oh, right. I'm involved in this then. <laughs> I suppose I've walked into this situation, didn't I? Um, don't want to intrude or make it awkward. You need to hash this one out once and for all. I'm here for you, Sam. Um, yeah, you, you do need to just get it all out in the open and try and reconcile your differences. Ain't that the truth? If you want to fight in front of your friend, I'm ready. I know you don't approve of Cora being with me. Don't you see why? If you keep this up, she could get hurt or killed or worse. Should have got the popcorn. But she hasn't. She's been safe. I've been keeping her that way her whole life. And she's not a little girl anymore. She helps keep me alive, too. Hey, back me up here. No, uh, Sam is absolutely right. Um, like your life is so much easier. Uh, safer, even. Just keep speaking from the heart. This is good. 
it is awfully dangerous sometimes. Sam does everything in his power to keep Cora safe. Uh, or keep both of the Coes alive. <laughs> right, but that's one that I don't want to go for because it kind of makes makes the impression that I have to protect him, which doesn't really bode well for him taking care of their daughter. Um, Sam does... Mostly does everything to keep in his power to keep Cora safe. I mean, he could just leave her at the lodge, not bring her on a ship that's getting into space fights. Um, do you know what? Just keep speaking from the heart. This is... This is this is progress. <laughs> this is helping. I am. I will. Listen, I think it's a mistake. And it keeps me up at night. But I'll make my peace with it. All right? Listen, all this, this... It has to stop. Like, every time we talk, it makes me want to punch a wall. I don't want to be mad at you. I really don't. Lillian... I don't know if what we had was ever love, but we used to like each other. We need to get back to at, at least being civil. Hmm. True. For Cora's sake. You need to start fresh. Let the old arguments go. What you're doing is terrible on a kid. It has to stop. Uh, yeah, that's a very good point, actually. Consider Cora's position in all of this. As long as you keep talking like this, you can get over it. Communication's key. Hey, here we go. Let's dig into it. Why do the two of you actually fight? It always feels like you're judging me, Lillian. Like I'm not a good enough dad or good enough partner. And there's all this messy history. I don't think that, Sam. I don't. I know I can hit below the belt. But the way you turn your life around, it's impressive. Truly. Ooh. Intriguing. Sounds like Lillian does still have a little bit of respect and admiration for Sam. Yeah, as long as you keep talking like this, as long as you actually sort of get past the, the gruff exterior and, and tell each other what you truly think, then perhaps you can get through it. It's hard, but you're right. Isn't this good, Lillian? Yeah, it actually is. If we were going to be really honest here, Sam, Cor and you... We were always together, back when we were a team. Cora would follow you everywhere, like a little adoring dog. I just felt out of it, long before we separated. Lillian, I, um... Uh... No, no, Sam. I need to get this out. But it's not fair that I take that out on you. Um, sorry, all right? Uh, I bet this really hurts. Hold on, was she was she saying that to me or to Sam? That's messed up, Lillian. No, I don't, I don't think that's messed up at all. I think it it can happen where a kid can attach more to one parent than the other, and it, I can imagine it is horrible for the other one to uh, to sort of feel like they're second best to the other parent. It takes a lot to admit. Uh, yeah, it does. To be honest. Thank you. I know. It's it's my fault too. Truce. Truce. But I need something, Sam. I need to see my daughter more. These messages just hurt. They're such a tease. And she misses you. But Lillian, the last three times we planned something, you bailed twice. Twice. Every time you do that, it destroys Cora. And I'm the one that has to deal with it. Lillian's a big part of Cora's life. She needs to see her, even if it hurts sometimes. I don't think Lillian can put Cora first right now. Ooh. Interesting that I could make that call. Maybe with some baby steps you can get there. Um, Yet, yeah, Cora needs Lillian in her life, and Lillian needs Cora. It's, but Lillian does need to work to try and get her priorities straight. Uh, that does make sense. Maybe maybe you can have Cora for a vacation or something. You gotta have, like, years of shore leave banked. Hmm. Oh, God, thank you. Thank you. And Lillian, you know I care for you, right? But you and me? I know. We were over before we even began. Look, it's none of my business, I know, but... You need to put yourself out there. And there's bound to be someone. Help. Lots of someones that would be thrilled for the complete Lillian Hart badass ranger package. <laughs> I 
Actually, I know a certain person on Neon. Oh, stop. <laughs> I'm just saying. There are people that would do right by you. There's more to life than rangering. I'll, I'll think about it. Oh, isn't this nice, everyone? Aren't we getting along? Um, oh, God, that's a cutting question. Is, is that going to sort of put the progress back if I ask if she's over Sam? Screw it. Sam and I didn't really choose to be with each other. It just sort of happened. And then Cora. I admire Sam. And he's one of the few people in the systems that can make me laugh. But I never really was. And I'm certainly not now. Hmm. I think a certain Jalen may be getting... L Hold on, what? I think a certain Jalen may be getting lucky. Wait. Why is, why is that name not ringing bells? Who's Jalen? <laughs> Finally, you have some closure. Who's Jalen? Is she... Wait, has she been checking up with somebody? I'm... I'm curious. I'm, I'm assuming that whoever this Jalen person is the person that Sam was referring to. So, I mean, they're all cool in that regard. But I just... I, I can't remember who that is. I'm going to... Oh, screw it. <laughs> oh, my. You're... You're terrible. <laughs> oh, that was priceless. Now it's my turn. Sam, you... You're a good dad. I know I don't say it enough, but you are. But there is more to life than being Cora's father. So same advice to you. Find someone. Maybe you already have. Well, aren't you just loving the turnabout and fair play nonsense? <laughs> See you around, Sam. You know, you give Sarah Morgan a run for her money on smarts. Just saying. Oh, well, thanks. Um, right. So, hold on. See you around. Are you, what? Are you staying here? Sam's going to send a message to HQ. Got some things to take care of here first. Hmm, okay. As long as you're sure. Well, pleasure meeting you, Lillian. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you around. Another time. Right. Come on then, Sam. Um... I'd imagine we've probably got a thing or two to talk about. Let's, uh, let's head back to the ship. Everything all right with you now, Sam? So you see why I like her? I mean, we were never a good fit. But Lillian's good people. Hmm. Uh, you weren't kidding about her being all about the job. Yeah, she really threw herself into that undercover operation. She's full throttle Freestar Ranger through and through. I got a lot to think about. You know, for the first time in ages, I feel good. <laughs> really good. So listen, in Aquila City, there's an old haunt of mine. On a balcony near a good old statue of Solomon Co. I want to show you. And have our own real talk, okay? Yeah, maybe figure out a way to repay you. Oh, intriguing. Okay. So we need to head to Solomon Coe's statue in Aquila City. Cool. Right, well, uh... <laughs> Weird things happen with the lighting. Right, well, uh... Yeah, I, I guess I have nowhere else pressing to be. Let's head on over to Aquila City. Ooh! Cora's right here. Let's have a little whisper with her. Um, a so... A brief history of time. If you find any addition, any at all, I will be your friend, like, forever. Um... You heard about the new arrangements? Mom says we might go to Paradiso next year. She's all excited about spa days. I am already planning a holiday. Good bookstores there. Hmm. Uh, looks like you were right about Lillian being in trouble. Yeah, absolutely. Um. Ooh, we've got a few different options that we can speak to Cora about. So, uh, yeah, I hope you're not too worried about these Starborn. We may have encountered a handful of them just now. Worried? No, I think it's fascinating. I know they maybe seem scary at first, but what if it's just a threat display? You know how lots of species will puff themselves up or show off their teeth and growl to scare off anything they don't like. You are smart. Bloody hell. Uh, so you think it's just for show? I don't know. I'm just a kid. <laughs> I just thought maybe we shouldn't assume the worst. Hmm. Uh, makes for a bad first impression. Threat displays are not, they're not animals. We shouldn't assume anything. Can't afford to take any chances. Yeah, I think that's fair. Um, I think underestimating them is probably uh, the worst thing we can do at the moment. No, I get that. Just maybe it's not as bad as it looks. 
That's all. Sure sounds like we haven't seen the last of them, mm. so I guess we'll see what happens. Yeah, they're not going away anytime soon, I think. They seem to be uh, appearing more and more uh, as we're touching down in different locations. So, how am I shaping up as a captain so far? You want my honest opinion? Oh, God. I think you're doing great, Ooh. but there's always room for improvement. I mean, your ship doesn't have a library. Where's a girl supposed to store her books? <laughs> what about me? How am I doing as a co-pilot? <laughs> you're doing great. Uh, oh, so you're my co-pilot, are you? Yep, that's right. And if you ask me, I'm doing a pretty good job. I keep the ship in tip-top shape and the crew in order, because everybody listens to me. I don't but doubt that. if you think I need a few more lessons, I'm sure there are tons of books on how to be a good co-pilot. Maybe you could bring me one? Hmm. <laughs> I think you're doing great, too. Thanks. Someday, I'll be a captain like you, and then you can be my co-pilot. How about them apples? <laughs> Need something, Captain? Okay, I'll leave the uh, the Lillian speak until next time, I think. Who's marching around the... Uh, it is here? good to see you. You're tall again! Oh, I'm ever so pleased, Amari. Did you uh, did you forget to take your growing potion last time or something? That was that was kind of weird, though. I don't, I don't get what happened there, but fine. He's back to uh, his old usual self. Right, Um. so, Aquila City. Here we are, back in the city. So, oh, this must be the place that uh, this must be the place he was talking about—the balcony above the Solomon Co. statue. Russia's doing well for herself. Laredo is a big player in arms manufacture. Wait, what? <laughs> Sam, is this a little tradition? Whenever you arrive back here, uh, so would, would you would you mind awfully if you got down? from there would that be okay tell you what <laughs> follow me let's um let's just come over here for a second he's not gonna come down is he i've got a funny feeling he might be a bit stuck <laughs> let's uh see if i can't lure him this way damn oh hold on i think he's finally jumped down from the uh yeah, there we go. Finally jumped down from the countertop there. That's better. We can speak face to face. Hey, yeah, thanks for coming here with me. You know, I used to truly hate this place. When I was a kid, I'd throw stones at that statue. Mm. Just beamed him over and over. <laughs> beamed him? <laughs> Almost got arrested for it once. Uh, yeah, how'd you get out of that? Shopkeep called the ranger over who chewed me out good. But once he found out I was a co, he just cut me loose. Actually, said, you of all people shouldn't do that. And I wanted to shout, I'm the only one who deserves to. <laughs> but I managed to hold my tongue. It was a close one. Hmm. Uh, it sounds like you were a vandal even from a young age. <laughs> I prefer to call myself spirited. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just the post mission glow. <laughs> I, uh,. I miss the old guy. Maybe even Aquila City. A little. With all that's gone on, with what we've been through, I finally feel <laughs> at peace. Nice. Lillian and I, we're never meant for each other. But it's good to have her back as a mother to Cora. It's great, even. Good. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Um. So how did Cora take the news? She seemed pretty chipper. She was over the moon. Which is good. And for now. But I know Lillian. There will be days when she flakes. Big time. Either way, Cora's better with her in her life. Warts and all. Yep, I agree. Don't like the way Lillian treated you. That conversation with Lillian was long overdue. Uh, if you need any more support, I'm here. Uh, no, I, I think you really did need to clear the air with Lillian for quite a while by the sounds of it. Yeah, and without your support, I don't think I ever would have done it. Man, there's so much. But you know, behind every lucky star that's come my way lately, I see, uh... You. Hmm. I've talked with you about things no one, and I mean no one else knows. But your words have been a great comfort. You know, you live long enough, and you can just get covered in garbage 
Hmm. From the mistakes, the betrayals, the misfortune. Makes it easy to lose sight of the things you should be thankful for. That's, uh, excuse me, private conversation. Um, yeah, no, that's, that's, that's quite a deep analysis. I'm, thanks for that. Um, someone's feeling sappy. <laughs> yeah, you did all the hard work back there. I just listened in. Actually sort of bringing up those topics and broaching the conversation. That was the tough part. Yeah, that's all you did. Right. Hmm. When we met originally and I heard you wanted to travel together, I didn't know what to think. It seemed you waltzed into Constellation so quickly and easily. I thought maybe you were like Walter's bastard kid or <laughs> ward or something. But, uh, you know, you're pretty amazing. <laughs> Man, I can't believe I just said that. Oh, thank you, Sam. You're pretty spectacular yourself. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, you're a pretty amazing friend yourself, Sam. Well, can't argue with that. I just want you to know, come thick or thin, hell or high water. He's not talking to you. I'm there for you. Every time. Nice. So let's go, partner. I like the sound of that, partner. Do you mind? Can we help you? <laughs> She's really determined to sit on that particular seat. Awesome. Right. Uh, oh, sorry. Sorry, sir. I didn't, I didn't. I'm going to step away from you. You're kind of scary. <laughs> that's it, on your way. Um, awesome. Yeah, so uh, well, that's that's pretty much sealed Sam and Ash's friendship for good there, I think. Uh, not that it really needed much more sealing, but um, yeah, pretty awesome dude all around. Glad to uh, have you back and glad to have you having my back as well, I think. Hmm. Right, so, yes, that's right, Solomon. That's the direction we're heading because I think it might be time that I... <laughs> He's going to knock that statue over before long. It might be time that I actually go and see the old man that Sam just mentioned and uh, see if I can follow up on Walter's little request to oversee the project of his that he's got cooking up. Yeah? So, I've just come back aboard the ship. I'm just going to leave them to it. I've just come back aboard the ship. Sam has just asked if he could have a word. Um, I also need to have a word with... Uh, Hello, Amari. I was hoping you would stop by. I think I need to have a word with Barrett, but also uh, I've done a little bit of a crew shuffle round. And uh, wait, just hold on. Somebody. Oh, right, it's directing me to the pilot seat. I've done a bit of a crew shuffle round. I've um, given uh, Rosie her sort of temporary marching orders, and Andreja is now back on the ship, so she also wants a quick conversation with me. Um, so let's see Hello if I there. can't track her. Hello. What were you doing? Uh, let's see if I can track Andresia down, wherever she might be, and have a quick whisper. Hello, Barrett. Have you seen Andresia? Hmm. She did want to chat. Now she's run away to hide. Aha! I see. Waiting for me in my quarters, are you? Well, let me grab the door. Long time no see. Even Good to see you. If I can. Absolutely. Um, you wanted a little chat. Your investigation with the Freestar Rangers has come to an end. Are you satisfied with the results? Uh, which one are we talking? The one with Lillian or the one with uh, chasing down the first? Um, bad scene all round. No one should be satisfied. Any situation I can walk away from, you know how it goes. <laughs> she does keep repeating it. Uh, it's behind me. It's all that matters. Yeah, um, I believe she must be talking about the first yeah, it was it was kind of a grim situation all round, both sort of taking out those former former heroes that turned rogue, but also exposing corruption in the um in the Freestar Council. I suppose not. This Ron Hope, supposedly a man of the people, was more concerned with profit than lives. Mm. He was not the first and certainly will not be the last. A monster for sure. Money can bring out the worst in people. He thought he was doing what was necessary. Um, you, you, so you're surprised by his actions? I mean, I must admit, I was kind of surprised by his actions. Surprised? No. Just disappointed. Another who chose greed over all else. Mm. At least he will no longer be able to prey on others. I am unsure that death was preferable to justice. But at least the situation is over. And there is no question who was to blame. 
And I did try my best to bring him in, but he wasn't having any of it. Um, yeah, exactly. He gave me no choice. No, he did not. A very poor decision on his part. Perhaps a lesson to be learned by others who would break the law. At least while you serve as ranger. Hmm. Uh, honor to wear the badge? Rangers are lucky to have me. <laughs> Imagine I can get, uh, what I can get away with now I'm a ranger. Um, <laughs> let's continue your tuition in a sense of humor. I agree. Though perhaps you should not share that sentiment with them. Hmm. True as it may be, it, um, does not sound very humble. A fair assessment. Shall we find some other adventure to occupy us now? That sounds suspiciously like a plan. Right. As I say, I want to pursue... Uh, hello, Cora. Are you... Are you following me now? <laughs> Slightly scary. Um, Read any good books lately? No, still no. Hi, Sam. She's upstairs. Let's head through to the cockpit. I want to... Uh, I want to set off and find out what this little job is that Walter has got lined up for us. Further into the unknown. Oh, that's to find... That's to find more of the artifacts, isn't it? Here we go. Over-designed. We need to go to the Stroud Eklund shipyard for this one. So Walter wants me to help his R&D team in the next shipbuilding product project. Okay. Well, let's head off. Jump so I've complete. jumped through Wanna to the Narian system. Oh. No. Oh, excellent. So the Stroud Eklund Star Yard is a space station. Interesting. Right, well, let's uh, make my presence known. If you're looking for the cutting edge of starship design, you've arrived. Welcome to Stroud Eklund. Well, thank you kindly. Get some boost on the go. And get this thing docked. So I thought I was going to be heading down to uh, a planet surface, but... I don't know. Space station's good enough for me. Now, before I jump on board... And we're docking... And complete. <laughs> You're a little easy, bit behind. Easy. A little bit behind with the times there, uh... Barrett, we kind of docked a little while ago. Right, Sam. Sure, I would be happy to chat. Oh, that's lovely. I'm not here to speak to you. <laughs> Sam, I'm going to be leaving you behind because I think it's time I switch back over to Andresia. We've got uh, a little bit of catching up to do, her and I. Uh, Andresia, my dear, hello. You got my undivided attention. Bless Baron. Hello, excellent Hi. to see you. Likewise. A credit for your thoughts, as they say. I'm at your side. Looks like it's tag you're in, Andresia. Tag indeed, Sam. We will see you later. Okay, so. Sam's not actually assigned to the ship, so I think him and Cora will be disembarking the next time we uh, we actually hit Never solid land. A friend like you. Oh, thanks. So let's. Uh, Trisha's already heading the right way. I like it. Let's head on up and out into the Stroud Eklund Star Yard and see if I can't get my head around what the hell it is that Walter expects me to actually do aboard this station. I mean, yeah, I've built a one ship. Moment to return to your ship. Oh, you're completely unobservant as always, Andresia. One of the many reasons why I like you. Uh, oh. Hello. Ooh. I'm Walter Stroud. Welcome to Stroud Eklund. And on behalf of Stroud Eklund, welcome. In our new state-of-the-art star yard, we are creating revolutionary new starships at prices. That Does he sound drunk to you on that recording? He sounds like he's had a couple of drinks. It's time you try... Right, tell you what I'm going to do. Oh, hello. I can hear a conversation going on through here. Walter is quite proud of what his company has accomplished, and for good reason. I was about to say, I, I think, I don't think he's, uh, I don't think he's being unreasonable in being proud in his accomplishments. Well, him and uh, his good lady wife, because they, they've built quite the empire for themselves by the looks of it. Customer first policy. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to speak to anyone just for the moment, seeing as I'm apparently in charge, or at least sort of on a consultation basis here on behalf of Walter, I think I'd like to have a little bit of a look around, sort of through the eyes, time. thanks, uh, through the eyes of a potential customer, uh, first of all, just to see sort of uh, 
what's going on. Right, bits of ship in miniature form. Goody. Um, hello. If I were Tayo, I'd be very concerned about the new Stroud Eklund models. Interesting. So, public opinion is that the Stroud Eklund modules are, um, are quite desirable. I came out of curiosity, but some of his backs, impressive. Hmm. Okay. And you are just a freestyle guy. Havershaw can help you if you need anything. Havershaw. Nice. Thank you. I am gleaning some information here. Hi. Hello. Havershaw's in the showroom if you're ready to buy. Okie dokie. Nice nose piercing. Didn't know that was a thing in this game. Stroud Eklund sales computer. Stroud Eklund delivery contracts. Stroud Eklund is only able to craft these amazing ships with a dedicated support network of miners and traders. Although, by law, we cannot offer more than the standard trade authority compensation, why not work with a company that cares? Contact our award-winning salesman, Havershaw, again, for further details. Profit and satisfaction awaits. Right, who's this Havershaw? I'm hearing a lot about Havershaw. You, Havershaw? You are Havershaw. Bloody brilliant, Rob. Having a word with you soon. Uh, speak with Jules. Okay. Apparently, I need to speak with Jules. Are you Jules? No. Are you Jules? No. Um. You have a good day. Well, thank you. Who's Jules? I can't believe Stroud pulled this off. Do you know anyone named Jules? Well, I'm apparently supposed to speak to Jules. These ships are nice, but compared to a trident. <laughs> Ooh, you're the first person I've encountered who is not completely enamored with Stroud Eklund uh, tech, by the looks of it. Okay, so. Right, I need to have a word with Jules. Do you know anybody by the name of Jules? I didn't think you did. I wonder if Havershaw does. We'll find that out next time. Yeah, Guys, thank you very much for department here. signing off. Leave me be. Thank you very much for joining me. <laughs> if you would like to leave a like or you care to leave a comment, then pop this down below. Next time we're gonna uh, we're gonna introduce ourselves to Havershaw here. We're gonna have a read of the company policy first of all. But um, yeah, and then see if I can't work out. Why I'm here? I haven't got a bloody clue. But I'm intrigued. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.